All right, so yeah, no haircut today. Uh, I got nice and sunny out. So what we're going to do is get the ruckus back the way we're together. But first, gotta get the El Camino, get out of the garage, and then on to hopefully getting this ruckus back and running. All right, so I got it out. So pretty much, I think the only thing I really need to do is get this back cover off. And there was uh, one wire for uh, the throttle body cable that I have to hook up. And then put the back cover off, obviously put the battery on, and just zip tie up a couple things just to make them sure they don't move around. And I think that's all I really got to do. So let's dig into it, get it done, and. Let's hear this puppy run today. So we got the frog body hooked up, we got the back cover back on, it means a seat. That can close, I believe, for the final time. Don't want to say final and then me having to go back in there being a big fat liar. But hook up RPM gauge, just gotta go up here, just gotta weave it around and zip tie it back up. Get the battery on, get the battery back back on, fill it full of gas, and I think we'll be on our way. And hopefully hear it run here in a Couple minutes.
this wiring harness is supposed to go behind all this. Great. Let's take the battery out. I think I really did a big oopsies considering I think this wiring harness, if I'm not mistaken, went behind everything. Uh. Uh. Let's see if I can snake this through. If not, there's gonna be a lot of pieces I'm gonna have to take down. Son of a gun. I think I did a big boo boo. So I think if I move the ignition, I can get it through this little, it's like a sliver. If I pull this out, I'll have enough room to move it, but, oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Need like this much. That's it to snake that through. Like so. The only thing now that I can't remember is where this little connect red connector goes to. Because everything else is connected. And I don't have a corresponding connector for it. So that's a little interesting. And there's nothing here that says plug me in. red. It's different than all the others. And I'm sure somebody's like, yeah, it's stupid, it's this. I'm sure there's somebody online doing that while I'm doing this. There's always somebody online to try to prove you wrong or try to make you feel stupid or make you try to do anything else. But that's there. That's the connector that goes right there that holds it there. It would literally be something to come right here. I seriously don't know. But don't worry, we'll figure it out. Let's get the battery back on. 
pull down bar on. Pull down bar. Bolt that down. Get started. That's good. Now if I've got a positive side of the battery. Which that should not be that hard. go that is on and uh, I'm gonna turn this off I'm gonna go Google what this is for to see if it's something that I need to worry about to make sure sure it is and then I'll be back and then we will connect the negative battery terminal slot that bad boy on, put some gas in the gas tank and uh, turn it on or at least attempt to. Alright, so grab my water, did my research, and that right there is for a dealer to hook up for an RPM or to reset the computer. So that just sits like that. <sighs> Hydration. Alright, so let's hook up the negative battery terminal. Ah, there went the little piece that it hooks onto. I'm flying out. All I want to do is fly out. Okay, there we go. So, get the negative side for my trickle charger up on here. And Get this all together. How does this one go? This one goes on. This one's going to go on like so, right? Hold on. Before I do all this. Which way does this go? Because it really doesn't matter. But, does it go like this? Or does it go like? No. It's going to go like that. So let's get this ready and get this on, get that on, get this all together. Oh, of course it would drop again. Oh man. How many times is that going to drop before I get this together? I guess I shouldn't ask that because the watch should be like a bazillion times. But I think we're good there. We are good, that's all together the way it's supposed to be. Bam. Alright, so we got the trickle charger hooked up. Let's see if I got a horn. No, I don't have a horn. Oh, probably because I need a... Ah, uh, I got blinkers going. Oh. All right, so we got that going, and the blinkers on the R6 tail light are right. <laughs> so what I do with the wiring was correct on both the uh, front and the back. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. Um, the hello horn isn't working, so. It's actuating. There's no. <sighs> oh man, it's always something, isn't it? Did I get the wrong screws? I thought these were the right ones. Oh, using the wrong screw for the wrong place, though. 
Those are the right screws. Does help using the right screw in the right, right location though, doesn't it? Sure does, dummy. It sure does. And I know it's been a while, but I think it was missing a screw when we did this last time. So I think, nope, nope, I got two and two. Okay, no, we got everything. Cool. We're good. Just got to get it to close all the way right. gas cap off, put a little bit of gas into this thing, and see what happens. That should be enough. It's probably about a gallon or so. Gas cap back on. Lock down. Well, I guess here goes nothing. something right got blinkers oh, I don't have headlights either we know we have power because we got blinkers working I'm a big dummy. We got life! We got life! After only like, like 14 months of this. But when he gets you guys off of here, Get the headlight on. And they all work. Everything works. That's looking beautiful. We can go left. And we can go right. And everything works. The way it should. Now, does the horn work now? <laughs> okay. It's easy to run. Horn works. But there we go. We got a running ruckus. Dang. Literally, this is the first time I've ever taken a, a ruckus apart or anything like that in running. And we got the R6 taillights working. And just got off a choke now, so now it's good to go. And it's running nice and idling great. So that's gonna be a huge success. Uh, I am not going to take it out for a ride today. My helmet has not shown up yet, and, uh, yeah, I don't need to do another uh, ride without a helmet again, even though it was just in the neighborhood. 
that's going to effectively end today's video guys if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel if you did like the video go smash that like button for me i am also going to once i'm done with this wrap up and try to get the r6 taillight all together also which you guys have been asking for so i'm going to try to do that for you guys too all right until next time oh i'll see you monterey peace out